Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you. Welcome to watching my videos. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. It's Friday, September 5th, 2025. And I'm going to be talking about this surprising event that rattled Narragansett, Rhode Island last night. At 11.36 p.m. on September 4th, a small earthquake shook this coastal community, waking residents and sparking chatter across social media. Was it a big deal? What caused it? And what do we know about the fault lines beneath Rhode Island? Stay with me for the next several minutes, and I'm going to break down the felt reports, the science, and what this quake means for Narragansett. Narragansett, Rhode Island, is a picturesque seaside town of about 15,000 people, known for its beaches and laid-back vibe. But late last night, just as folks were winding down, a low rumble hit at 11.36 p.m. According to USGS, this was a minor quake, likely around a magnitude 1.8. I think originally they said it was a 2.5. But some people thought maybe it was a 3.0, centered near Nanagasset Bay. Residents reported feeling a quick jolt or a faint shake. Some saying that it even sounded like a distant explosion on X. One user posted, just felt a tremor in Narragansett. Anyone else? Another person posted on X, I thought my house shook for a second. USGS posted about, oh, a dozen or so felt reports. We got 13 here. And for some reason, the felt map does not work. But you can see we got some here towards the west and towards the south. Here on USGS, there was a 1.5 near New Hampshire about three hours before the 1.8. I do have one fault line drawn out here. Actually, I got two. We also have a Watch Hill fault zone. And this one here is the Southeast Connecticut Fold Belt. The New England and Maritime Canada are adjacent or were adjacent to the Northwestern African Plate prior to the breakup of Pangaea. And the interaction of the Atlantic Ocean Basin a long time ago. Yeah, this is an area where the African Plate originally collided with uh, America. Felt reports not only came from Narragansett, but also from Providence and Wakefield. Most people reported a modified mercantile intensity level of 2 or 3, meaning the quake was felt but weak, like a passing truck. No structural damage was reported, which is typical for quakes this small. But in places like Rhode Island, where earthquakes are rare, even a minor earthquake gets people talking. The USGS encourages anyone who felt this earthquake to submit a report at earthquake.usgs.gov to help refine their shaking and intensity maps. Now let's dig into the science. Why does Rhode Island even have earthquakes? New England sits on a complex network of ancient fault lines, leftovers when the tectonic plates collided millions of years ago. Rhode Island itself isn't on a major plate boundary like California, but it's not immune to quakes. The Narragansett Bay, that area lies in the Narragansett Basin, a geological feature with small, supposedly at one time, inactive faults. Here I have an image of many of those faults. Yeah, this is the uh, full belt. belt from the collision of the African plate. And you can see all the different faults. We got the Watch Hill Fault. And the earthquake was right in there. These faults can still slip under stress, causing minor quakes like last night's quake. And experts say that Rhode Island's bedrock, made of old metamorphic rocks, can transmit seismic wave efficiently. So even small earthquakes feel strong. The last notable quake was in the area was a magnitude 3.1 in 2019 near Exeter. So this isn't a new phenomenon, just a rare one. 
What's sparking curiosity online is whether this quake signals something bigger. On X, some users are asking, is Narragansett on a fault line we should worry about? The short answer is probably not. Geologists say that the faults here are not like the San Andreas, which can produce massive quakes. Still, posts on X show locals are rattled, not by the damage, but by the surprise. One user joked, Rhode Island earthquake? What's next, a volcano in Providence? Others are sharing tips like checking home foundations or keeping a flashlight handy. The USGS reminds us that while major quakes are unlikely here, always be prepared, and that never hurts. So what's next for Narragansett? The USGS and local authorities are monitoring for aftershocks, though none have been reported yet. The Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency issued a statement saying, uh, we're working with the federal partners to assess the event. No immediate concerns, but stay vigilant. Residents are encouraged to report any unusual shaking to the USGS or local police. Meanwhile, the community is buzzing, neighbors swapping stories and some half joke about moving to safer beaches. This quake, while small, is a reminder that even quiet New England can rumble now and then. So did you feel this earthquake? I would like to know. Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.